Just know, like, even though I'm filming, even though it may look peaceful, it ain't. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my night routine as a stay-at-home mom of three. I have not really shared my full like night routine as a mom. I've shared my routines like more about like for me personally and self-care things and self-development type things, but I haven't shared my actual like what I do with my home, my family, like our actual night routine as like a unit in a long time. Typically when I do day in the life vlogs, I always end it around my nighttime routine so I don't even really share it and I do so much of the end of the day because the end of the day is just very busy for me and it's a time where I like to get a lot done so that in the morning everything is nice and ready to go I don't like walking out to a messy house in the morning like it just does not do well for my mood at all so it's actually a random Wednesday night it's about three o'clock in the afternoon which I know it's not technically nighttime quite yet but my husband works crazy hours so I like to make dinner a little bit early so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm gonna go ahead and make some chicken enchiladas these are not real authentic enchiladas by any means but they are good okay everybody likes these enchiladas so I'll leave that recipe down below we're gonna do the enchiladas we're gonna cook dinner and I'm gonna take you full on through my real nighttime routine that I do from pretty much dinner time all the way till I go to bed. So I hope you're excited. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And let's get into this full on routine. Okay, before we get on with this, this is real life. You guys know I'm really, I just, I show you guys a real life. So we're gonna go out there and you guys are gonna see just the chaos of the midday to end day thing. You guys know if you're a mom or you have a lot of kids and especially if you're a stay at home mom, like you know like midday to the end of the day, like it's insane. So this, I don't even know how this is gonna go to be honest, but it's probably gonna be chaos, but let's just stop rambling and let's go. Okay, so here's a little overview of my kitchen. This is kind of how it looks on a normal um, evening and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with these chicken enchiladas now these are sour cream green chili chicken enchiladas they are so easy to make and they are so so good it's all about the yummy sauce that you make and basically all I'm gonna be using is some rotisserie chicken from Costco that I hadn't used up yet so it just makes a really quick and easy weeknight meal So you just want to shred your chicken up and then you're going to make a really easy roux which is just butter and equal parts flour and then we're going to add some chicken stock to that and then turn off the heat add the sour cream the green chilies and it makes the best sauce like sometimes i want to double the sauce just because it's that good i got butter from costco and i don't know what the heck it's like three four sticks in one giant ass piece it's, it's too much. I had to freeze it and then it was just a mess. It was just a mess. So beware with the butter at Costco because it's, it's insane. Not yet, but I'm about to turn this. <gasps> Fudge! Yeah. Yeah, he's right. in the way. chime in really quick normally I'm alone by myself with all the kids when I'm cooking dinner so Cody who's here on the day I'm filming this which is nice because trying to film I think this is why I don't film my nighttime routine is because it's chaotic and no <laughs> so as you guys I don't even know if you guys saw but rain spill all my flour I had to re remeasure that out and now they're outside so just know like even though I'm filming even though it may look peaceful it ain't so I melted the butter, now I'm adding the flour and making the sauce like I said before. And I just had to chime in about what I had just said. Like it's so easy to just mute things, add some cute music over it, and you guys would never know. So don't compare yourself to these videos ever, I'm telling you. Like nine times out of 10, if they have kids, like it's loud, they're screaming, it's it's not as pretty and as peaceful as it comes off online. I learned that once I became a content creator. So again, just never compare yourself guys. Just don't do it. And most of the time, like I had said, I'm alone doing these things. I was lucky enough as I was filming this day that my husband was there, but I'm roughing it too, guys. Like I'm a mom, I have three kids, I'm a stay at home mom. Like I don't work outside of making YouTube videos. I mean, I don't even consider it a job at this point, but we're all doing it and we're all doing our best. 
Okay, so now for the yummy sauce, go ahead and lay it over. My tortillas always unravel and come apart, which it really doesn't matter because once you put the sauce on top, like you can't even tell that they unraveled, so don't worry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that over. We're gonna add cheese, we're gonna add some olives, and then we're gonna bake that. is put together I'm now just gonna cover it with foil and I'm gonna bake it for 20 minutes I believe it's 20 minutes on with foil take the foil off and then another 20 until the top rounds it's so good so easy like just try it and let me know what you guys think So now I'm gonna go ahead and tackle some of these dishes. Like I do dishes like throughout the day. I cannot wait until the end of the day. Like once it starts getting full, I have to move them out of the sink. Like it's just, it, it drives me crazy. Like even just talking about it, I can't even speak. It's just insane. So I like to do dishes as I go, especially right after I cook, like just get them out of the way. All right, so the enchiladas are done cooking. It's 4.14 right now. Cody actually left to go help out his parents with something really quick. So I'm on my own, like typical. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the oven. And we're gonna just kind of hang out for like the next hour or so. This needs to cool down like a lot before I serve it to the kids. I really try to wait until like the very end of the day to start cleaning the kitchen counters, cleaning the floors, cleaning up the living room, because I know if I just clean it, it will get dirty again. So there's gonna be a little bit of a time gap in between now and when I start cleaning again. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hang out, watch TV. This is like a time when we go outside a lot. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'll share my busy, busy routine towards the end of the day. Here's a little overview of after dinner. It's finally, I think about like seven o'clock. My house is a wreck. Again, I don't clean my house really as I go along because the kids will literally just ruin it again. And no one wants to clean the same thing five times. No one does, especially me. So before we clean up, I'm gonna go ahead and get Rain and Everly in the bath real quick and get them in their pajamas. And then we'll clean up everything for the night. So watching this back, like you can just see it in my face. Like I was just over it, taking some deep breaths. All three kids were screaming. Rain wouldn't come. It took forever for me to put his pajamas on. They were all going crazy, but you know what? It's life. Starting to realize why I don't film past four o'clock. Chaos. Cody's back home. It's now 7.15. This is like finally the time that I'm gonna start cleaning up the living room, cleaning off the countertops, doing dishes, vacuuming, cleaning the floors. Like this is where everything goes because the kids go to bed around like 8, 8.30, just like depending on the day. So this is like really like the time where it's like boom, 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 get a bunch of things done. Okay, so we're kind of getting to the last bit of the night here. I'm just doing any more dishes that ended up in the sink. And then once the kids are almost going to go to bed, that's when I start wiping down my countertops. I don't want any food being brought out after I clean everything. And then I do the countertops. I do the floors. I like it as clean as possible because I love when I wake up in the morning and I come out and I have a spotless kitchen. Like it just does something for my mood. With that being said, I don't always wipe down my kitchen countertops every single night. 
most nights I do, I would say like five out of seven, but there are some nights where I am just over it. I will always do dishes though, but sometimes I don't always vacuum and do the countertops, but more times than not, I do do it. actually like 7 45 now and we're not done we're not done because my room gets messed up too by the kids so as you can see there's just like kind of random things everywhere the kids love playing in the ottoman there's just all those pillows that aren't supposed to be there your toys shoes but i have to say the sunsets where we live are so so pretty um but yeah i still have a little bit more picking up to do and then i will finally shower now remember cody's here so typically at this time i would still be in the living room with the kids and i would do all of this once they go to bed but because he's here i'm able to kind of do this now so while i still have some daylight for filming purposes so let's go ahead and wrap this all up and then it'll finally be time to relax and all that we always play games with the two older kids once rain goes to bed which he'll be going to bed here in the next like 15 minutes we just finished playing charades with the kids I think my camera died so sorry if that was a little awkward rain's asleep I'm now gonna get in the shower do my skincare but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this nighttime routine up I know I don't film because it's just a lot and it's crazy to get things done plus film but I hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in the next video bye